Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So I purchased three more packs of flower seeds for this year's Cut Flower Garden and wanted to share those with you in this video. But I also want to do a giveaway. So I'll be giving away this pack of Xenia seeds to one of you. So these are the Benary's Giant Blend. They're an annual. They like full sun, blooms summer to frost in these big beautiful colors. They grow three to four feet tall. Their blooms can get up to six inches. On the back here, a lot of good information. When to sow them outside, when to start them inside. So everything you need to know on how to grow your Xenias. And Xenias are easy to grow. You can grow them as cut flowers or you can just grow them out into your landscape, out in your flower beds, let them grow, do their thing, and enjoy them that way. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, all of that information I have placed down in the video description below, or you can just stick around until the end of this video and I'll talk more about how to enter the giveaway. So I was out looking for those zinnia seeds for the giveaway and I found three more packs of flower seeds that I really wanted to try to grow in this year's cut flower garden. So the first one are these dahlias. These are decorative double blend. These are a tender perennial grown as an annual. They like full sun, blooms summer to frost, and these get really tall in these big beautiful colors. Some of them are partial and fully double dahlias. So some of them have the more full look with a lot of petals. And so a lot of information again here on the back. They are a perennial in zones 7 through 10. Here in Kentucky, I'm a zone 6. So if I wanted to later on at the end of the season, I could dig up those tubers and store them and plant them out the following year. But I love that you can start with a seed instead of ordering tubers, which can be a lot more expensive. You can just sow the dahlia seeds. So next I spotted these beautiful green zinnias. These are called Envy. They bloom in that beautiful chartreuse green color. Again, they're a zinnia, so they're an annual. They like full sun. They bloom summer to frost. These grow 24 to 30 inches tall, and they produce beautiful blooms three to four inches wide. On the back of here, a lot of good information, but the great thing about zinnias, again, they're a cut and come again type of flower. You cut those blooms, they grow back for you, and you can keep on cutting those blooms all throughout the season. So a great cut flower um, to make bouquets, and really this color just goes with all the other colors really beautifully. So the next one I have here is called Crispedia Drumstick Flower. Now this one I think looks so happy and fun to me. It really does bring a little bit of whimsical into an arrangement that really bright bold yellow color really looks so happy I think they look like little balls of sunshine down here it does say they look like lollipops um, excellent cut or dried flower it's a perennial a tender perennial grown as an annual it likes full Sun blooms summer they grow 24 to 30 inches tall on the back here, it does say they are a perennial in zone eight through 11. Now they're not a perennial in my area. But the thing about perennials in a cut flower garden, a lot of times they are treated like an annual. A lot of times certain perennials, they will grow, produce seed if you leave them alone and they will drop that seed. So they reseed themselves and those seeds will germinate and come back the following year. Um, so if you don't leave them alone, in order for them to reseed themselves. Um, so in this case, if you're growing them as a cut flower and you're cutting those blooms, they're not gonna have a chance to reseed themselves in order to come back the following year. So a lot of times they are treated like an annual. So now back to the giveaway. So for your chance to win this pack of Xenia seeds, you must first subscribe to this channel and then number two, leave a comment down in the comment section of this video. Now, if you are already a subscriber, that's great. All you have to do is just leave your comment. So if you are not a subscriber, subscribe and then leave your comment. And you have until Sunday, March the 7th at midnight Eastern Standard Time to enter the giveaway. So that is the deadline. So if you have any other questions about the giveaway, just look down in the video description below. 
So guys, that is it for this video. If you would like, go back and check out the other video where I explain to you my plans for this year's cut flower garden and some of the other flowers I plan on growing. So check that out. I hope you enter the giveaway and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.